All right, so I got to say something about, um, I guess it's the hill, crystal ball, and that other guy who's a Republican. I know they're friends. I know Crystal Ball was a Bernie guy. I, too, at 70, you know, almost 71 years old, was a Bernie guy. I've been a Bernie guy. I've loved Bernie, Bernie um, Sanders going way back. You know, he was. he's always been fighting for, you know, fighting the good fight. And, um... The thing I don't get is this determination on the on um, somebody like Crystal Ball or who's that other idiot, Jimmy the Whore Door, that guy. What the hell's wrong with him? And all this slamming the the left and slamming the Democratic Party constantly. All right, they do some things that are, you know, there's some players in the Democratic Party, you know, I go ahead and say, yeah, they're pretty fucked up. Compared to the Republican Party, I'm sorry, there's no contest. You know, there, there just is no contest. And instead of being proud, all these far left or whatever they paint themselves as progressives or whatever. You know, I consider myself to be a progressive, you know, up here. And um <clears throat> look how far th the policies of the Democratic Party have been pushed in the right direction by Bernie Sanders and all of his supporters. You know, Joe Biden and um uh, Kamala Harris, they got no choice because they know that, you know, like 62, 72, whatever percentage of it is of the American people want some sort of health care that's not attached to uh, an insurance company making the rules and regulations, you know. Because that's just crazy. That's not, that's like um, health care for hire or whatever, however you want to say it. So, but I listened to her, you know, ragging on Biden and, and yeah, he's, Biden's got a couple of things that are iffy, especially going way back, you know, to the Thomas being, um, getting into the Supreme Court. <coughs> the whole, um, you know, tough on crime shit. Yeah, I remember all that. Everybody was doing it. Everybody, especially the Republicans. Trust me. And these people that bitch about these things, hell, some of these young girls I saw on... Uh, the NBC or CBS or whatever it was, they weren't even born when this happened. So they're reading, maybe reading accounts into this or talking to their uncle or grandfather. I don't know. But hopefully people change. Hopefully people evolve. I know that I've changed and I've evolved in the way I think over the last 40 or 50 years since I first became a political person. So, anyway, I'm pretty much done with uh, with all of that nonsense. I just want to concentrate on the vote. the The other part of it is is that you know, getting Biden in there, at least he'll listen, and he might be like your like people like uh, um, Crystal Ball are trying to make it out be like. He's all attached to the big corporate world and all that. Well, he might be semi-attached. <coughs> and who the hell isn't? Somebody's attached to some kind of focus group or 
lobbyist group or whatever. There's lobbyists that are lobbying against the lobbyists. You know, I, I, I just don't understand what all that hubbub is about. Of course, Joe Biden needs to win this election. And of course, anybody who supports a progressive ideology still needs to stand next to Bernie Sanders and help him push the Democratic Party in the right direction. But if everybody wants instant gratification or they're going to take their ball and go home because, you know, not only does it look foolish, but it's, um, it is, it is pretty goddamn foolish. Progressive, the arc of progressivism goes, you know, like this, up and down and up and down, but steadily going up. And it's taking over the world. And um, hopefully human beings will come together in the end and straighten ourselves out and help ourselves to evolve into 21st century beings so that we can, you know, have health care and so that we can help work on making the planet heal itself from our destructive behavior and all of that shit. Uh, but it's not an overnight sensation. It just doesn't work that way. I mean, I wish it would be faster, but I think this last year or two, especially during the Trump era, I've seen more work being done towards the progressive agenda than ever before in my 70-some-plus years. So I... Am, am not afraid of the future. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really glad to see all the young people involved. Um, that gives me a lot of hope. And I guess that's all I got to say about that shit.